<clears throat> Alright, what's up? Uh, it's time for basically my favorite recurring video that I make on this channel, which is looking at the next season of anime. Doing a little speculating, doing a little getting hype, doing a little ranting about things I don't like, uh, and just preparing myself for the next season. This last season was actually quite great. I'm very, very happy with like all of the shows I'm watching to varying extents. Uh, we'll talk about them at length in the wrap-up video, which is hopefully coming soon-ish, uh, as in not too long after they finish airing. Um, so look forward to that. But even more than that, look forward to these shows! Hey! Whoa! Ah, starting with Konosuba! I never liked Konosuba! <laughs> I know it's like very popular, but... You know, it's this combination of, like, traditional isekai plot points and tropes and characters and stuff, but with this, like, real wacky, perverse, subversive comedic twist. And the comedy never really did anything for me. I never really found it very funny. Uh, just, like, I get that it's supposed to be juvenile, and I do like a lot of juvenile comedy, but it's it's just, I don't know, it just never hit for me. This is how comedy goes. If it doesn't land for you, it doesn't land for you. There's not much you can do about it. And then the isekai stuff, I found, even though it's supposed to be, like, isekai parody, they just, like, sincerely did isekai stuff a lot. Like, they would have a big epic battle against some creature, and they'd all be casting spells and doing stuff. <laughs> they'd, they'd have to go to, like, towns and quests and, like... I don't care. I don't like that stuff. I don't watch this genre because I don't like this stuff. <laughs> and here it is wholeheartedly, even in this, like, supposed parody. So, yeah, I don't care. I, I hope people enjoy it. I think it's neat that the art style seems to be getting even goofier based on this one image. Uh, but this is not going to be what uh, brings me back to Team Konosuba. I watched, like, the first two seasons, you know, because we were watching it in Anime Club. And then we watched the movie, too. Movie had some pretty sweet Saku guy, I will say. But yeah, the whole time I was just like, eh, that's yeah, fine. <laughs> um, new Demon Slayer. I am, you know, now a Demon Slayer. I am caught up on this. Uh, I actually even watched the preview movie of this season. They call it a movie, but it's just playing anime episodes in the theater. Um, yeah, we watched this first special episode. And it was fine. I don't know. I wrote a review on Letterboxd if you're very curious. But it's like, if they're gonna do this playing anime in theaters, I think they should rewrite the anime to be a little more suitable to play in theaters. They don't need to, like, add things. They don't need to mess with, like, the canonical story. They can just rearrange some things. Make some things flashbacks that we see later, or flash-forwards of something tantalizing and exciting. Uh, just so that this movie can have, like, a proper arc and a proper climax and not just really, really feel like the first episode of a show, uh, which is, like, exciting insofar as that it's new and you're seeing it with a crowd and that's always going to be fun, uh, but doesn't really have, like, the hallmarks of cinematicness and climax uh, that you would come to expect from something you're sitting in a theater watching. It really just feels like, oh, it ends and you're like, that was an anime episode. Uh, but yeah, this arc seems nice. I, I like the Hashira in general. I, I love the stone Hashira. I think that design is just awesome, and I'm so intrigued by him. I want to learn a lot more. I like uh, Tamioka, Tomioka a lot, too. Uh, his design and his personality and stuff intrigues me more than a lot of characters. Um, so I don't know. Like, Is this going to just be a pure training arc? I, I haven't read the manga, so I really don't know. Uh, it really seems like maybe this is more around world building and training and kind of these emotional moments of passing the torch and stuff. And I can see that being pretty good because the previous season, the Smart Swordsmith's Village, I got so tired of by the end because it was just fighting. Just endless, endless fighting. And it, it was like exhausting and like not fun past a certain point. You know, the, the epic Sakuga climactic slash where finally the demon is beheaded, starts wearing pretty thin when you do it like six consecutive times and five of them are fake outs. At a certain point, you just feel resentful. Uh, so I, I hope it's much more human, I guess, much more about the, the character dynamics and the world uh, and, you know, giving opportunity for training and fighting, but not just like eight nonstop episodes of life or death battles it's too much. 
Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll watch this for sure. Uh, this is some isekai thing that I don't really remember this one. What's the English name? Oh, Jobless Reincarnation. So this one was praised a lot, uh, largely because the studio is actually, like, godly. And I watched, I watched this, and yeah, the, the animation is, like, insane. It's, it's so full of great character acting and fluidity and expressiveness and... It's still not enough to make me watch <clears throat> Isekai, but I can see how something with that production is popular. Slime Reincarnation, more Isekai. We're at three out of four is Isekai. When is this going to end, man? The Moe boom didn't last this long, I don't think. The sports anime boom back in the day, I don't think, lasted this long. The Battle Shonen boom, you can say never ended, but its point of peak saturation... I don't think was this long. Isekai just won't freaking die. And I'm tired of it. It's like every time it dies, it just reincarnates into another form. Bah! I reincarnated as a slime. You're giving me three seasons of it? I don't know. People really like this series. I, I'm sure I, it's been running for so long. I'm sure the storyline has become like so epic or whatever. Like, look at this big showdown. People know who all these people are. Uh, I just don't care. More BNHA. Uh, the manga is, is certainly wrapping up soon. I, I wonder how far behind the anime is. I don't really get a clue from anything here. Uh, but sure. I hope this is still good. You know, Bones is a great company. I, I think them giving their all to the first season of BNHA is what kicked off this kind of like elevated shonen manga adaptation era that we're living in now which i have certainly been reaping the benefits of with so many fantastic series uh like demon slayer to some extent uh not my all-time favorite but pretty good but like undead unluck chainsaw man jujutsu kaisen the the remake of one piece by wit studio i th this is i think what changed the game this is what made them realize we need to be putting more effort into these these adaptations, so I, I will always love it and appreciate it for that. Kaiju 8 Go. Uh, this is another Weekly Shonen Jump adaptation, is it not? Uh, and this is Production IG, so this is <laughs> a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, this is one I never read. It seems sort of interesting. I'm pretty sure it's a Weekly Shonen Jump series. Um... Pretty good art. Seems interesting enough. Yeah, the fact that it's uh, serialized under Manga Plus. I'm sure I could find it here, actually. Really? Wait, maybe they spell it like this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I could read it on here. Um, I don't know, it seems interesting. I'm sure it's pretty good. I feel like most Weekly Shonen Jump series right now, I, I feel like the magazine in general is just at a very, very high standard of quality. Uh, so I would think that this is good. And Production IG, banger studio, hit after hit, puts in the work. Um, you know, maybe some questionable stuff, but then also maybe my favorite anime last year. Um... So, yeah, I want to I wanna believe. I think uh, this could be very nice. Oh, God, what a long name. Uh, yes, we got Magical Academy thing. More powerful enemies. Okay, sure. Oh, wow. This is coming back. Is this a remake? This might be a remake. Or a sequel. I don't know. Alternative. Yeah, I guess it's a remake. That's quite interesting. I never watched this back in the day. You know, I was on A during the peak of its popularity and everyone was talking about it and spamming economics in all caps. And I was kind of intrigued by it. I think maybe I watched like a couple episodes. Uh, but it just never came together for me. Um, but maybe now is the time to jump on the Spice and Wolf train with the remake. I'm sure they're going to put a lot of effort into it, making it super pretty and 
uh, you know, justifying a remake. Because <laughs> remaking anime like this is pretty rare. And it's not like anybody, I think, was super upset about the production quality of the original. So I feel like they're using it as an opportunity to be like, let's use... I just opened and closed this tab. Uh, let's use, like, real modern anime power and bring this up to, like, a masterpiece of the modern age, maybe. Uh, oh, this is a good series. So... It's not that this studio I actually really associate with super high quality animation, though. All the things I've seen in this selection are, like, decent to middling bad in terms of production. So I don't know. Maybe everything I just said was not true. And this is more like a cash grab <laughs> to try to get some more money off this old cult hit series. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. Data Live 5, yeah, I don't care. Five seasons, wow. Sequel, I don't care. Uh, ooh. Yuri? Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Based on manga, looks like it. Is this Yuri? Or is this the very feminine boy? I <laughs> Maybe I got tricked. More and more, I feel like I got tricked. No, hearing her band, her senpai, her band. Yeah, it's Yuri, it's Yuri. <sighs> oh, man. I, my, my Yuri goggles are all freaking fogged up. I'm in this heterosexual relationship. I, I'm not in touch. Oh, this series. I know this series. Everyone loves this series. Yeah, the, I haven't read this, but... This is supposed to be, like, a huge banger. God, I have I have fallen so far from my heights of Yuri obsession. I, I used to, like, just worship at the altar of Yuri day in and day out. I, I'm so normie now. What has happened to me? But, yeah, this is a very beloved manga among people whose tastes I really respect, especially on this subject of Yuri. Done by Yu Scanlations, a group that has brought us some of the, the biggest Yuri classics of all time uh, that uh, I'm, I'm always going to be interested in anything that they feel like is worth working on. So that <laughs> this could be pretty freaking huge. This could be a banger. Honestly, I kind of just <laughs> want to read the manga. Uh, but I haven't read like a new Yuri series in such a long time. Nothing too crazy here. A lot of, like, pretty fetishy stuff. That's how it goes. Uh, curious. Very curious. I don't know. It's It, like, really floors me how disconnected I am from this genre now. It wasn't a deliberate choice. It just... Actually, it was somewhat of a deliberate choice. For a while, I was so lonely and so down bad that reading Yuri became too painful. Which is, like, not a good place to be, you know? That that was a sad time for, for good old Kitsta. And now it's kind of, like, the exact opposite, where I feel actually so happy and fulfilled in my own love life that, I don't know, it's, like, it's not necessary. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't feel the need to seek out other romances because I'm just living one that makes me so happy. Which is great. That's great for good old Kitsta. Um, but it's like I, I swung the pendulum right past the, the sweet spot, the Goldilocks zone, where Yuri is both very, very appealing, but not, like, devastatingly upsetting. Um, but it's not like I wouldn't enjoy it. I just don't have the compulsion to seek it out. Like, I am reading some Yuri series. I'm keeping up with them. But I, I don't just seek out every single manga or anime within this genre. Uh, but this this one, though, really just kind of looks like my type of Yuri. Like, every indicator from how well the manga is being received to the scanlation group to... This is the plot line. It all, it all sounds great. I think, I think I'll have to give this one a try. I would, I would like to return to the genre. And now we're talking. <laughs> and here we have probably the anime of the year, Yuru Camp. One of just my favorite series in general. The third season. Season one, of course, just was an instant landmark of Slice of Life for me and took its role in the 
the slice of life pantheon in my mind. Season two maybe was even better with with longer arcs and and deeper exploration of the characters and some of the most just like touching moments that even if I think about them too much, let alone describe them, I might start tearing up. And then the movie, which was an absolute blast, a, a total, you know, divergence from everything we've seen, taking a look at the characters in their adulthood, uh, switching from camping to building and running a campground, uh, just an amazing way to elevate the movie uh, from a status of just like a long TV episode to something so unique and so fun and so beautiful. And now we have season three. They're back camping. They're, they're high schoolers again. There's like a big dog now, a Samoyed, not just the little dog. I'm going to love it. We, we will all be healed by this. It's a tough time right now. Like personally, I have some big stressors in my life I won't get into. Globally, things are shit. Uh, every single day I read news that makes me just feel all rotted out from the inside. But this may heal us. Tenoshi. Something new middle. I don't know, maybe this is a place name. This kind of looks like a place name. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to this. Oh my god! <laughs> back to back! Back to back! Okay, I actually need to do some catching up on this. It's kind of the same thing with Yuri, because in my mind this was always a Yuri series. And uh, Nakatani Nio-sensei, the author of Bloom Into You, which of course is a real beautiful landmark Yuri series, said in Hibike, uh episode, what is it? Episode 8, Festival Triangle, they achieved everything I ever wished to do as a Yuri artist. <laughs> you know who else is a big fan of that episode? It's me. You know how psychotic I was about this episode? How can I find it? Can I search my own blog? Uh, do I have to just go through posts? We'll know when we see it because this, the scroll bar will get tiny. It'll get tiny. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so manic. <laughs> I was so manic and success. <laughs> I wrote too much. Look at how fucking much I wrote about this episode. What was wrong with me? There was like legitimately something very wrong with me back then. <laughs> this That was part one. This is part two. Uh, <laughs> season two is starting in three days. And now season three. So yeah, I was like very, very into this series. Uh, again, largely through the Yuri lens, largely because my Yuri goggles were strapped on tight, but also because I did play in a fairly competitive band in high school. Not as competitive as this series, but we took it pretty damn seriously, and I could really relate to a lot of stuff in that, too, and, and that still, you know, as much as my Yuri obsession has sort of faded away, uh, that stuff really, really hits. And then just the presentation, I think, is like peak KyoAni style. In their, their natural human mode. Nothing supernatural, nothing like absurdly flashy, just like some of the best cinematic depiction of playing music I've ever seen. Mm, it's so good. Uh, and then Liz and the Bluebird, my favorite anime movie of all time. Maybe my favorite movie of all time, period, is just like the most touching, poetic, just like perfect movie. Uh, and then there was another movie that came out, and I haven't even watched it yet. Because I've become a freaking normie. <laughs> and anime doesn't rule my life in the way that it used to. Uh, also because it didn't play in theaters. <laughs> and then, then because of that, I forgot it came out. Uh, and by the time I realized it came out, I just was very busy. And I don't know, maybe I'll watch it tonight. I need to get caught up. I need to get caught up within 19 days. So I can start watching season 3. Of BK. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, is this anime of the year anymore? I don't know. Holy cow. Okay. All right. Let's calm down. I'm going to drink some water. Your camp season three, I knew was coming. This one, though, I forgot about. <laughs> 
I knew that it was coming eventually, but I didn't know when. And I kind of, like, forgot. Like, I, I wasn't actively thinking about it. <sighs> Look at this. The, the, the people that are favoriting these, that put it at 12th and 13th in the popularity rankings, those are my people. Those are my people. Whatever percentage that is of any, any chart users, that's where I fit in. I'm in that slice of the pie. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Uh, what is this? This looks crazy. This looks like a trigger show <laughs> because it has the big light X's and it, because it has people that look like this. Uh, is this based on a manga? It is. Is this based on a manga that people like on manga decks? It sort of is. Okay, gore, sci-fi, monsters, action, psychological comedy, superhero, adventure, alien, supernatural, mystery. Okay. Uh, oh, what the hell? It's from the quintessential quintuplets, man? That's so strange. <laughs> that's a that's a genre shift and a half right there. Um, okay. I, I guess that's maybe why it has this fan base. Because otherwise I haven't heard of this at all. Um, but sure, could be good. Sentai. So it's got the Sentai appeal, I would hope. That's not an empty promise. Windbreaker by Cloverworks. Delinquents. Heroic delinquents. Scooper School of Delinquents. I like delinquents. I like some delinquent fighting. Some manga. Let's check out the manga. Uh, decently well liked. Good. Web comic slice of life the artist has done nothing else interesting interesting um yeah maybe i mean cloverworks does good stuff dude cloverworks has really been on a roll and i like it when they adapt things and not when they write things <laughs> when they write things things get a little weird <laughs> but when they adapt things they only get as weird as the manga actually did hopefully so well, I guess with Promise Neverland and Shadow's House, they veered off and did their own weird thing, but... I don't know. Could be good. Could be good. Uh... Oh, what is this series? I've seen this series before. Maybe I'll recognize the English title. A Condition Called Love. Yeah, this is a manga I have encountered a few times. And my my sense around it, the aura is that it's like kind of a cry core series, a ten out of ten I cried. Um, it looks nice, or maybe maybe it's not. I don't know. It seems a little. I thought maybe somebody had a disease <laughs> because of this. <laughs> I thought it was like I want to eat your pancreas, but I think I'm getting it all mixed up with other stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's good. It looks like nice little rom com. East Fish Studio. What the hell is this? Ooh, a Mahjong series coming out this year? Ten count? Cancel. Huh. Okay. Um. Spy Family. Hey. Spy Family Comedy. Hey, uh, I've, I've re seen another show with, that could be called something like a Spy Family Comedy. I quite enjoyed it. Never heard of this, though. It's a manga. The Yokozura-san fa family. Pretty well-liked. Action, romance, comedy. That's a trifecta right there. Um, mission... Oh! Oh, this is a Weekly Shonen Jump series. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen this before. Um... Yeah, this is a Weekly Shonen Jump series, because I keep, this guy with a bucket on his head, like, calls out to me. <laughs> Every time I see this uh, series featured, I'm, like, so intrigued by the man with the bucket on the head. So, I don't know, maybe I'll read this at some point. Uh, I feel like I would have to either know somebody that loves the manga personally, or feel very, very good about the studio, which Silverlink I feel, like, mixed about, they're fine. Uh, for me to really be interested in the anime. 
But man, it's like, I, this has always been true, but I guess it's because I've never been more aware of all the stuff in Weekly Shonen Jump. But it really drives home how everything that ends up in Shon Weekly Shonen Jump will eventually get an anime. <laughs> uh, bloodline magic, bloodline reincarnated, memories intact. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, magic. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, convenient marriage, royals, witch. Never heard of the studio before. Engi. Huh. Okay. They did uh, Uzaki Chan. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sequel to something. Cheat. Isekai life. Yeah, it's super cheap powers once he hits level two. Okay. Oh, really? What? So this is a really classic manga that has been on my radar for a long time. And I'm pretty sure they already made an anime adaptation of it. Uh, like a long time ago. But it's it sounds very interesting. It ran for a long time, 21 volumes. Uh, it's quite well liked. I I think I would really enjoy this. I I I want to read it at some point. But I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there was already an anime adaptation, way back in 2006, uh, which was also very well liked. It was it was recommended to me very highly. Uh, so this is kind of neat. We're we're really in the anime remake era, huh? Um, I don't know why <laughs> they've chosen to remake this after you know. 18 years or whatever uh but it should be good um I've, I've always wanted to read this in fact we should put it on plan to read uh so i don't forget about it um i love just these very slice of life episodic workplace focused this is all so great uh, i have every reason to think i would love this series and it's cool that they're making a new anime maybe maybe i'll try to watch this i don't know uh, Kamiwa Game, the, the god of games, former god, um, win the ultimate prize, 10 games, dice, cards, chess, could be fun, Linden Films is, like, alright, uh, they haven't really made all that much stuff that I'm, like, interested in, a lot of stuff that it's like, well, yeah, I would have liked to watch that, I would have liked to watch that. But not very much that I actually watched. Um, okay. Okay, I don't know. Could be interesting. Probably not. This is making me less interested. It is what it is. I'm such a normie now. Oh, now this looks interesting. Dogakobo. City full of identity. Graffiti. Kids out at night. What is this? My interest just fluctuated wildly. What a roller coaster. Uh, VTuber, former idol, composer, illustrator. They make a, a musical group? It's an original. This, I think, could be very good. I, I have very high expectations of Dogokobo. Maybe my friend is working on this. Maybe I can get the scoop from him. Uh, but yeah, I have very high expectations from Dogokobo. They basically never miss. Their originals are all very nice. Uh, the sound of this, this just sounds great. Like, the premise. I hope it doesn't just become an idol show. I don't need to see them performing, like, every freaking episode. Uh, I would rather it much be about, like, the city and their identities and their self-actualization and recognizing what it is that they want from art. I think could be really, really interesting. Yeah, this this I have very high hopes for. Uh, Fear of Evil Sorcerer. See, it's like, oh, haha, ha, that sounds like fun. But, you know, squish, meh, 
<laughs> it's just gonna be stupid fights like the entire freaking time they can never focus on the humans the humanity of it the social relationships for more than like five minutes before it just becomes fights yeah i don't care i already don't care uh yeah uh -huh. incarnated um huh Okay, I was just going, I hate reincarnation, I hate reincarnation, I hate reincarnation. Elderly people de-aging and re-experiencing the small joys of life in their new youthful bodies? Much better. <laughs> uh, I like it because I like series that focus on the small pleasures of life a lot. And often they have some sort of premise where because of, like, a limitation of the protagonist uh, or some major circumstantial change, it's all about them leisurely, freely rediscovering these pleasures kind of one at a time. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about the genre in length in the wrap-up video for this season because I'm watching another example of this now. Uh, but there's a few of these elderly people uh, de-age or reincarnate as youth and just enjoy life. Um, this one seems really nice because it's rural, despite having a rural upbringing of my own that I, I resent and flee from. Uh, I actually really like rural anime a lot. Uh, Al Mori, a friend of mine, used to live there, so that's cool. <laughs> um, like, I don't... This actually sounds really nice. And yeah, maybe I'll just end up reading the manga, because I typically will just read manga that are like this. And that's, like, more than good enough for me. But I don't know. Uh, this show I was, like, aware of. <laughs> and that's all I can... Oh, this is, like, the gamer show. Yeah, I don't know. This might be a read the manga situation. Yes! Look at the scanlation. Actually, no, they're Jinchi scans. They have what sounds like a very abhorrent name. But typically, I really like the series they... Oh, it's already in plan to read! I'm one step ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this looks nice. This looks nice. Blue Archive, I don't care. I know this is, like, absurdly ungodly popular, but it's a MOBA gay, so... Does that even mean anything? You can release any crap on the phone, and 10 million people will play it every day. Uh, so, yeah, that, that is not an indicator of anything to me. Uh, well, this looks creepy. Novelist teams up with an enigmatic colleague to solve suburb supernatural urban mysteries. Now that I like. This actually sounds very fun. S etchy, eh. And take it or leave it. But I like these character designs. Uh, the premise is fun. I love a good urban mystery series. If it has just kind of like small levels of occult and stuff. Not, oh, we need to eradicate demons, but like, oh, hey, this is this is a little creepy. Uh, yeah, this looks like fun. I th I, again, it's probably just going to be a, maybe I'll read the manga someday. Uh, maybe not a, I am picking up the anime in the series that is uh, already, like, absurdly stacked. This season is freaking crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Could be good. What is this studio? Zero G. Uh, oh, this this seemed kind of nice. Oh, they did one room. Oh, that's a big knock. This is like one of the worst produced anime I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe. An unlikely maybe. Wow, this is up to the third season. I remember when the first season of this came out. I actually really wanted to watch it. It sounded fun. And I heard some good things. But then I never got to it. Glad to see it's still going strong. Maybe I'll read the manga sometime. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh. Oh, that's fun. That's a very fun premise. On the air comrades, off the air, at each other's throats. Sounds funny. There's a manga. Let's see how people like the manga. Maybe it will just end up on plan to read. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's toss it on plan to read. Getting actively scanlated. Well, 
somewhat actively scan loaded. I like to see it. The art looks nice. Two authors and an artist. That's kind of crazy. Um, I don't really know any of these other things. Okay. Maybe. Sure. Studio Connect. Oh, I liked Slow Loop. That was a nice show. Okay. I don't know. Potential. Whoa! <laughs> this is a like a legendary manga. This is a manga that like real manga heads are are always raving about. That was a moderate success in Japan and ran for a very long time. And then I think there was a sequel series. I already got it in plan to read. Uh, not you know the the subject matter that I'm most interested in, but. A good gangster story. Like, who doesn't, you know, enjoy a good gangster story from time to time? Um, could this be, like, the Sopranos of manga? I've never heard anyone call it that, but I've decided in my mind that that is what this would look like <laughs> if uh, such a thing was to exist as the Sopranos of manga. Uh, Tezuka Pro is, like, not always that great, which is sad because they're named after the greatest mangaka of all time. Um, but they're not, like, offensively bad either. They they usually have some pretty interesting production elements and are, like, consistently competent. Uh, but it's, like, kind of weird, the sort of stuff they take on. Like, at first you see this trend of just adapting old Tezuka properties, and then it becomes much more varied and weird. And now I guess they're doing this. The director, Takahashi Sensei, uh, mostly doing old stuff. Seems like he kind of like came out of the ether to work on this, which is quite interesting. Flag was good. This was a really underrated series. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, this has big potential. I mean, really, I should just read the manga, because it's, like, a legendary manga, and I think all of my friends that are most into manga have read it. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the anime, worth considering, too. Uh, yeah, okay. Girls Band Cry. Okay, I like a good band series. Studio not announced. Am I doing this, like, too soon? <laughs> um, based on a series of, like, music videos, I guess. Eh, okay. Re-Monster. Oh, I like Monster. Wow, another legendary anime. Uh, from a legendary manga getting re-adapted, remade in 2024 for some reason. No, just kidding. This is... Uh... Past life... Van... Uh, okay. Uh, vampire Dormitory. Well, that... That makes it quite clear. <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay. Alright. Uh, one room... Hitari Futsu Tenshi Tsuki... I thought this was like a crossover <laughs> between one room. I thought this was like three series getting crossed over or something. Um, this looks like super cute core. Uh, okay. Let's check out the manga. If it's like 9.7, I'll be really interested. But I, I don't think that's what's going to happen here. All right, it's just not on Manga Ducks. Well, there's a lot of thing called One Room, because that's just the name of that type of apartment. Huh, it's not on Manga Ducks. That's surprising. Uh, all right, that's not how you spell hijinks. Uh, the same studio, back to back. Uh, what the hell? They're doing two very different shows in parallel. That's very funny. Um, but yeah. Is this based on a manga? Yeah. Oh, it's based on a manhua. More and more big manhua adaptations. We got solo leveling last season. 
Um, this is like a long strip. It's well liked, but I'm gonna be real. It feels like manhwa readers like stack the deck on manga decks. Like I'm 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 less uh, invested in a high score on a manhwa, and you can be like, oh, that's prejudice. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I've read some manhwa on manga decks that have very high scores, and I thought were like whatever. Whereas if there's like a nine plus manga. I think it's just because manga is so much more popular on manga decks than manhwa. Uh, the reviewers are, are usually a lot more, like, scrupulous and critical. So if something gets up into, like, the nines, it's usually... There's something usually very crazy about it. Like, there's usually something that I'm like, wow. Like, I get why people are spamming this with tens. Whereas manhwa, I don't know. It just feels like maybe the more... There's, like, less of a loyal readership that's just reading everything that comes out and it's more like people are like gravitating to manga decks for a series that they're already reading because manga decks is the best and then that inflates the ratings or something i don't know whatever uh oh this sounds interesting art looks kind of cute there's a big dog pochi-san it's an original very intriguing where does the doomsday train go I don't know, but I'm I'm intrigued. I want to know. Uh, this studio did Kuma 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 Bear, big Isekai series, and they did Ooh Urahara. I loved Urahara. This series is so cool. It's so crazy. And Kuma Miko. I love Kuma Miko too. Uh, okay. Potential, potential. I'm saying there's potential. Um, ballet dancer, then neat, then thrown into the world of racing. Hit by a truck in reincarnated in the world of racing. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Astro note. Uh, alien. Cute. Alien slice of life comedy based on a manga. No, it's an original. I don't know. This looks cute. This looks fun. Oh, wait. This is the studio. Rick and Morty the anime. Uh-huh. This I was kind of interested in, just because I like singing. This was fine. The manga is phenomenal. Dude. All you people out there that are reading the Nagatora manga know just how freaking good it's been lately. Okay. Stay-at-home spouse and parent. Gay parents! Whoa. Gay parent series. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. That's lovely. I wonder how well it's liked on Manga Ducks. Now, this is one of the big flaws of Manga Ducks ranking, or ratings, is that there are, in this case, probably 10 homophobes. <laughs> but any yaoi series, any boys love series that you can find, especially ones that are, like, more popular, um... I, I don't know. I, I For some reason, expected to see one I would recognize right away, but whatever. There's always going to be this contingency of one voters that I think are just straight-up homophobic. So that is, like, a flaw of the site, but, I mean, every site is going to have flaws like that. Uh, but this looks nice. I don't know. Studio Dean. Eh. eh not always the best. Uh, but not always the worst, either. Just sometimes the worst. <laughs> and very rarely the best. Uh, but yeah, it could be nice. It'll end up in some maybe category, and then I probably will forget about it. Oh, but I did want to add it to plan to read. Because this, this just sounds lovely. A nice family slice of life. I almost just scrolled past this one without commenting it on it at all. Uh, but this actually kind of sounds fun. Uh... I like reverse isekai so much more than regular isekai. <laughs> uh, it, it usually coincides with what I was talking about before, that kind of pseudo-genre of exploring life's small pleasures episodically, one at a time, and truly appreciating them from a place of novelty and freshness and stuff. Which maybe is where this goes. There's a manga... It looks like it's very wacky and high energy and stuff. This I heard was quite good. 
Uh, I think the manga was well liked. At least. I don't know. It's something. Let's see this salad bowl. This weird salad bowl. Uh, not super well liked, but it's not being scam later at all, so... This is just kind of people judging it who have maybe read it in Japanese or something. Eh, maybe. Uh, new eye mask, shiny colors. Wow. This is just straight up like a new Idol Master series, and it's all the way down in... In like zeroth. These aren't even sorted anymore. Am I crazy? Where Where is the like... Where does it normally show the popularity rankings? Yeah, after this, it's like they're not even sorted because people haven't favorited it enough for it to be sorted by popularity. <laughs> wow. The idol era is clearly kind of hitting its last legs, huh? Hmm. Well, I mean, I've never been a huge Idol Master fan. I've, I've watched a few of the anime series, but I never got into the whole fandom, so I will not be super interested in this. Uh, oh, this is, uh, this is a manga that people quite like. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was an OVA. It's done by MAPPA. This could be a little surprise hit. I feel like all these MAPPA fans, or whatever, might have a little baseball moment. Who knows? Neat. So yeah, battery in Japanese baseball slang refers to like a pitcher-catcher combo. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I know. I just kind of wanted to show off that I knew that. <laughs> but I, I don't know anything about the series but past that and past people seeming generally positive about it. Um, okay. Studio Parrot. Par P that word. Uh, oh, okay. You have noticed whenever there's a series where people are posing on the stairs. It always looks very awkward and I don't really like it. Rinkai! Women's Cycling! Okay. Sure, tell me more, tell me more. A manga that is not yet released. So this is actually an anime original that's just going to get like a, a company meant manga. Uh, I have a friend who is big into Yoshiwara Pedal. And she also does a lot of IRL bicycling. Maybe she would be interested. I don't know. Shoutouts to Olivia if you're watching this for some reason. Are you interested <laughs> in this Rinkai? Uh, TMS Entertainment is doing Undead Unluck, which is a huge certified banger, but that's mostly because of this director uh, who worked for Shaft and did a lot of the real Shaft bangers. Like, this guy has chops for days. Whereas here, no offense to this guy, he looks pretty freaking cool, good glasses. Uh, but yeah, it's not the same level of prestige. <laughs> Although, it is cool. This guy has been around for a long time. That's pretty sweet. Working on Ranma and stuff? I don't know. I think there's potential. The subject matter is great. Uh, who knows? Oh, boy. Alright. Well, swords. Okay. Uh, ooh, Yokai Town. My Yokai neighbor. Reborn as a Nekomata. It's okay if a cat gets reborn. <laughs> Uh, this sounds nice, and we already looked at Linden Film stuff, but I think overall they're pretty decent. It's based on a manga. I could see this maybe being like a little cult hit that I just stumbled into. I, I think maybe because of the animals, but it has the same sort of feeling as like Odd Taxi, where it's like, well, maybe this is actually really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm going to toss this in the plan to read. Because a lot of things are already very appealing to me. Like this Crow Man and the Nekomata and... Yeah. I don't know. Golf! Um... 
Huh. Whoa. I have been a little into golf lately. Not actually playing it, mind you. But I've been reading... Uh, this guy. Green Green Greens. This is a really nice series. I, I actually have been really, really enjoying this one. The art is great. It teaches you about golf. The character dynamics are a lot of fun. Some really good heartfelt moments. I, I really have no complaints. This is like, in my mind, a very aspirational sports manga. Like, this is, this is how you do it. Um, so it's made me kind of more interested in golf lately and, and like the strategy of golf and stuff. So I don't know. I like this logo. The logo is like super old school, which isn't fun. Um, I think Oi is maybe like the Japanese four. That's what you shout when you hit the ball so people look up and don't get hit by it. Uh, solid 8 out of 10. Only two reviews. <laughs> only one scan later chapter. But coincidentally, it was only two months ago. You know, I want to believe, and I like OLM. OLM is, again, not always hitting the highest of highs, but, like, this is a huge banger. Has great production. This was a huge banger and had great production. Odd Taxi, just mentioned, was a huge banger and had great production. Uh, Jingu O oh, has mostly done Blade Blade up until now. Is this like a like a kid series, maybe? I don't know. I'm really curious, though. I want to know. Uh, Mahjong! Oh, okay. Is this like a live streamer series? I think this is like a live streamer series, yeah. So this is probably actually a short and it's just in the wrong category. But yeah, it's just going to be <laughs> like VTubers playing Mahjong Soul. And this also looks like... Uh, okay. And production IG and a whole bunch of other things. We see a mecha in the back. This, this sounds familiar. The Shrink-a-Lion. Shink-a-Lion. Shika. Shika is lion. Shinka lion. Okay. This looks like kids adventure of some sort. Okay. Now we're into the shorts. Love live short spinoff thing. Oh, Chibi Godzilla. That's adorable. Sure. Now we get some phenomenal leftovers. Very appropriate that uh, there's some leftovers in Dungeon Meshi. Man, I've been loving this. Uh, it's not going to be covered in my wrap-up video because it's too core. But holy moly, I, I love this series so, so, so much. One of my favorite manga of all time. And the, adam the adaptation has been killing it. Uh, la la. I did want to watch this. I would love to get time to watch this. Same with this. I started watching it when it first came out and then it's been running for a long time <laughs> uh so there's a lot to get caught up on but you know i love i love this manga i love this remake another remake movie episode nagi okay this is how they do it now high quality shonen adaptation anime then boom we need more money this one's in theaters uh code chaos movie okay interesting i've never really been into that Compilation film of Bochi. They'll probably do like two of those and then hopefully new content. Uh, Trapezium. Ten years ago, wants me an idol. Okay. Umamusume. We're living in an Umamusume golden era right now, but I'm not really super into it. Uh, occult stuff. Okay. Detective agency movie thing. Conan movie. 27th Conan movie. Gintama movie. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to watch this. This is nice. Uh, Yuri Yuri spinoff. I've read the manga. It's pleasant. Uh, so hopefully I'll watch this. Oh, yeah. They already did one. I got to watch that too, I guess. Uh, la la la. This is going to be great. Very much looking forward to this. Oh, it's coming out soon! But yeah, I've been on a real Toriyama kick. Um, I think, like, Dragon Ball Z has such a prime position in the zeitgeist. And it's not like I dislike DBZ, 
but I, I've always liked, like, pretty much everything else he's done better. Like, the original Dragon Ball is probably my favorite. I'm rereading Dr. Slump now, and I'm loving it. Sandland I read as a kid, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I'd like to revisit it. Um, so this will be pretty sweet. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Kamikaze Doga working on it is just so cool. I, I hope it's really wacky. I hope it brings out Toriyama's sense of humor very well. Um... Yeah, really, really looking forward to this. Year of the Desert, baby. I'm telling you. Year of the Desert. Uh, I don't know what this is. We have to like really pay attention to this section now because of all these freaking Netflix anime. Uh, wow. This is a fairly acclaimed director. Worked on Sora no Wodo. There is a all-timer right there. Um, yeah, it looks cute. Oh, it's just like a one-episode special. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Huh? <laughs> really? Wow. 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 One of the oldest memes I know of in, in Japanese culture. In 2024, they're making an anime of this. Okay. Uh, more, more golf, more golf, 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 um, laid, what was the studio again, laid, laid douche, oh uh, yeah, they did these guys, you know, I like your Yuri, I like this a lot, okay, uh, it is what it is, and Saint Seiya, okay, pretty good season, man, I gotta say, like, start making our list here i think overall i'm i'm very very impressed with what we're seeing here there's there's a lot that's gonna go into the absolute must watch category which is almost a shame because there's a lot of other series that look very promising that i i hope there's time for uh for sure gonna watch demon slayer Hashira training Very curious. Uh, Kaiju. Number eight. Um, Spice. Wolf. Remake. Uh, whisper me a love song. Is that what it's called? You do camp three. TBK three. Yeah, this I don't know, this seems kinda interesting. Uh windbreaker we'll put in here. This is like just a rom com. Oh, this is uh, Yokozakura uh, Family Mission. Yeah, Season's got a lot of really crazy stuff. Putting this at the top of this category. Um, 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 uh. This just means grandma, grandpa became young, youngified. This is we'll put this in the kind of interesting. It's kind of like bottom heavy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, da da da. 
Uh, this one I actually had pretty high hopes for because of the studio doing Urahara and Kumamiko. <laughs> Those being the two shows that, to me, displayed a lot of potential. Who directed it? Did we look at that? Hey! Whoa! Now these are some chops! Now these are some chops! Yeah, I think this is... Where does the Doomstray train go? It goes in here, baby! That could be good. Tarema, Okari, and maybe in here. Okari, salad bowl, Okoyaku battery. Could be good, could be good. Minkai, could be good. This I'm like a little more interested in. <laughs> Just because it has, like, the faintest aura of the promise that Odd Taxi had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Sandland. I think it goes in here. Between Kamikaze Dogo working on it. <laughs> um, let's see who directed it. Yeah. I don't know. I have very, very high hopes. Uh, and then I don't think there is anything else. Okay. Pretty, pretty freaking good season. Like... I don't even know if I'm going to like this this much, because I'm kind of wobbly on Demon Slayer lately. Uh, but it'll certainly be worth watching. These two are going to like make me cry 18 times each, and make me feel like life is the most beautiful thing in the world and worth living. Uh, and then this, I think, will be very good. And then like any one of these could actually be huge bangers. And even any one of these could be huge bangers, it's just like less likely. Uh, so yeah, very, very stacked season. I, I think some good shit is approaching. Uh, thank you for joining me again. I love making these videos. I, it just fills me with such a excitement and mania and potential. And look forward to the seasonal wrap-up video. I think it's going to be a really good one. Um, I have a lot of things to say. <laughs> As always, I'm yapping. Alright, see you later.